What's up guys? Well, today is a very exciting day, a major surprise within the jailbreaking community. While I was working on my MacBook video, there's some major developments happening in the background. So, we're back at it today for a second video covering the latest news. Well, let's get directly into things. A new iOS 12.2 exploit is now available. And that's not the best part, guys. Within a matter of 30 minutes to an hour, Pwn to Own has updated the uncovered jailbreak utility for iOS 12.1.3, iOS 12.1.4, and of course, iOS 12.2. The only catch here being it's for A7 to A11 devices, meaning it only supports the iPhone 5S, like this guy right here, all the way up to the iPhone 10. The latest 2018 iPhones being the iPhone 10s Max, 10R, and 10s, as well as the 2018 iPad Pros, those are not yet supported by this beta. But Pwn to Own has pushed two betas since just this morning. It's again in beta stages, and I'm going to show you guys exactly how to jailbreak your devices on iOS 12.2 entirely on device. Because the best part, again, it, the good news just keeps flowing, guys. Tweakbox has already updated their servers. The latest Uncover beta is live, so you don't even need to sideload it via City Impactor on the computer. I mean, you can do that. You just basically head to Pwn's GitHub right there, um, or you can just do it via on device by using this signing platform. Again, download links will be in this video's description. Anyway, I'll let this ad play out real fast and we'll get into jailbreaking. So there we go. Once you're in Tweakbox, we're gonna go to apps right there, Tweakbox apps, and then just search for uncover right there. I'm actually gonna go ahead and pull my phone forward so you guys can see some of the latest details. Right there, we have version 3.3.0 beta two. So if you guys wanna go ahead and install it, literally just click install, click install once more, and then I believe it's just going to be sideloading onto our device. There it is on the home screen right there. And uh, it looks like it's already done. So I'll show you guys the new interface of Uncover. Actually, we have to trust the developer certificate that we used to sign it by going into Settings, General, Profiles and Device Management, and then it's one of these enterprise, there we go, it's that one for Uncover, Trust. Now we can actually enter the application right there on our home screen, and there we have it. Look at that dark mode, guys. I've yet to even update to an Uncover version with a dark mode. So this new user interface looks awesome. You can change it back to the regular light mode, but again, new user interface here too with how the uh, text is laid out and everything, and then new animation. That looks super cool. But again, all your old features right here if you guys wanna get into that. But again, to jailbreak, let's get directly into things. Literally just click jailbreak, and it's gonna go ahead and jailbreak your iOS device. And again, like I said before, this now supports iOS 12.1.3, iOS 12.1.4, and iOS 12.2. So guys, the jailbreak works perfectly fine on A7 through A11 devices, but here's the big caveat, I only have my A12 device, and funny enough here, the jailbreak actually does work, it does say jailbreak completed, but as you guys will notice when I hit OK and go to the home screen, there isn't any Cydia for me because uh, there isn't a PAC bypass yet out for iOS 12.1.3, 12.1.4, or 12.2. And Uncover, unfortunately, still doesn't support A12 devices on iOS 12.1.2 or below. So my only option to jailbreak if I have an A12 device is with Chimera on iOS 12.1.2 and below. For everyone else, however, now you can jailbreak up to iOS 12.2. And again, I'll go ahead and play this video I recorded a while back showing you guys some of the post steps to do right after jailbreaking. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching this video on how to install the latest version of Uncover, what it looks like, what devices are supported, and of course, what iOS versions are now supported, the latest news being iOS 12.2. I'll go ahead and let the rest of this video play out. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you guys real soon, but until next time, this is Tony signing out. So here are a couple things to do post jailbreaking once Cydia is installed and everything like that. 
So if you guys have upgrades, go ahead and just do all the upgrades. I'm gonna go ahead and do a complete upgrade and click continue and let this guy go and do its thing. We're gonna go ahead and respring our device once more once this is done. So like I said, just click restart springboard. And there we have it guys, launching Obsidia one more time and it is fully updated with all of the latest updates. So that is pretty much the jailbreak process, but like I said, let's go ahead and take a look at a few tweaks that I like to install. The very first one is called Swipe for More. So you guys can go ahead and just search this one. It's on the big boss, and this is about the only one we actually have to manually install going through all of those steps. But I'll show you guys in just a second how much easier this tweak makes installing other tweaks. So my second favorite tweak to install a lot of sources really quickly with Insidia is called Flame, but now check this out. With Swipe for More, we can just swipe to queue it up just like that and go ahead and search for another package. I really like to have Tweak compatible, although I don't know how, uh, how reliable this is going to be right off the bat. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and queue that one up just to try it out. I also like having Tweak Count 2, and again, all of these are entirely free. I also like having Wish Dia to create a wish list directly within Cydia. And those are my first five go-to tweaks right off the top of my head. We have Swipe for More, Flame, Tweak Compatible, Wish Dia, and Tweak Count 2. I'm going to go ahead and click Confirm for these other four that we queued up with Swipe for More. And very quickly, just to show you guys what I'm talking about, we have Batch Importing sources so whatever is in your clipboard will automatically be added to Cydia with Flame. Also under the install tab you have this little button right here where you can export your tweak and source list directly to mail. And then again we have tweak count 2 but that's kind of hard to see. I only have nine packages installed right now and we have a green little indicator right there showing that tweak compatible has approved these tweaks to work on iOS 12 to 12.1.2. Very lastly under the home screen right here if you guys click on this little bookmark right here here are a bunch of tweaks that I have bookmarked. Those are five tweaks that I really want to share with you guys that make installing other tweaks and checking compatibility just a whole lot nicer right after jailbreaking. Anyway guys, very lastly in this video, I thought I would cover the unjailbreak process if you guys ever wanted to return to stock iOS. Well, we can actually do this by heading back into the Uncovered Jailbreak Utility. We can go to the Settings tab right here at the bottom, and we can restore rootfs. Again, we created a root file system snapshot before actually jailbreaking, and that is what is going to be restored, basically returning you to stock iOS. So with that checked right there, we can go back to jailbreak and now we can just click re-jailbreak right there. It's going to go up to step about 20 and there we have it guys. It says it will restore root FS. This may take a while. Don't exit the app and don't lock the device. We can just go ahead and click OK and it says it's been successfully restored. The device is going to restart. And that is pretty much the unjailbreak process. The uncovered jailbreak utility is still on your device, but you can go ahead and delete that. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, definitely like, comment, and subscribe before you head out, and let me know down in the comments section which tweak you're going to install first. Thank you all so much for the incredible support throughout this jailbreak season. Stay tuned for more awesome tweak videos to come in in the very near future, but until next time guys, this is Tony, signing out.